night was thick with an eerie stillness as I approached the decrepit mansion, its dark silhouette standing tall against the obsidian canvas of the moonless sky. The air hung heavy with a spectral hush, broken only by the distant hoots of an owl. My curiosity had led me to this ominous place, a mansion whispered about in hushed tones across the town. They called it the White House, not to be confused with the grandeur of the presidential residence. No, this White House was a relic of a forgotten era, a crumbling monument to secrets untold. I hesitated at the wrought iron gates, the rusted metal groaning in protest as I pushed them open. The path before me, overgrown with weeds and choked by the claws of gnarled branches, led me deeper into the heart of darkness. The moonlight struggled to penetrate the dense canopy overhead, casting long, sinister shadows that seemed to dance with malevolence. As I approached the entrance, the grandeur of the mansion loomed above me, its once white facade now stained and weathered like a spectral veil clinging desperately to the memories of better days. The front door creaked open with a ghostly sigh, revealing an abyss of shadows within. A shiver raced down my spine as I crossed the threshold into a world frozen in time. The air inside was thick with the scent of decay, and the floor beneath my hesitant footsteps groaned as if protesting my intrusion. Dust particles danced in the dim light, creating a spectral ballet that spoke of a forgotten elegance. The silence was oppressive, broken only by the echoes of my own breath and the distant scurrying of unseen creatures. I moved cautiously through the labyrinthine halls, each step unraveling the tapestry of this forsaken place. The wallpaper, once adorned with opulent patterns, now clung to the walls like faded memories. Broken furniture lay strewn about, a macabre tableau of a life interrupted. It was as if the mansion itself was holding its breath, waiting for a reckoning that never came. In the parlor, I stumbled upon an old piano, its keys worn and yellowed with age. A haunting melody seemed to linger in the air, a phantom echo of the music that once filled these halls with laughter and joy. As I touched the keys, a discordant wail emanated from the instrument, as if the very soul of the mansion recoiled at my intrusion. I ascended a grand staircase, its steps protesting with each footfall. The upper floors revealed rooms frozen in time, each bearing the scars of a forgotten narrative. In a bedroom, a dusty mirror reflected a visage distorted by time, a specter staring back at me with hollow eyes that seemed to hold the weight of untold sorrows. As I explored further, the mansion seemed to come alive with whispered secrets. Faint echoes of laughter and muffled conversations reverberated through the walls, a ghostly symphony of a bygone era. The air grew colder and I could feel the eyes of unseen specters watching my every move. In a forgotten chamber, I discovered a room shrouded in darkness, its entrance concealed by a tattered tapestry. As I pulled it aside, a surge of cold air enveloped me, and a dim light flickered within. The room was a sanctuary of forgotten relics, a dusty study frozen in time. A weathered desk held yellowed pages inked with cryptic symbols and arcane diagrams. It was a place where secrets had been penned, where the line between the natural and supernatural blurred into a haunting tapestry of the unknown. In the heart of the room, a peculiar object lay on the desk, a tarnished hourglass, its sands long since drained. The enigmatic symbols on the pages seemed to mirror the markings etched into the glass. As I touched the hourglass, a spectral wind whispered through the room, carrying with it a chorus of voices lost to time. The mansion seemed to sigh with a melancholic resignation, its secrets laid bare before an unwitting intruder. I felt the weight of the past pressing down on me, 
a heavy cloak woven with the threads of forgotten tales and unsolved mysteries. As I made my way back through the halls, a sudden realization struck me. The White House was not just a decaying relic, but a keeper of stories, a repository of the supernatural. The spirits that lingered within its walls yearned to share their tales, to find release from the shackles of a history veiled in shadows. With each step, the echoes of the past grew louder, a spectral chorus pleading to be heard. The White House, once a grand mansion, had become a vessel of haunted memories, a place where the line between the living and the dead blurred into a haunting tapestry of the unknown. And as I stepped back into the moonlit night, I couldn't help but wonder if the spirits within would ever find the peace they so desperately sought, or if they would forever remain trapped in the spectral embrace of the creepy White House. <laughs>